everyone I'm Rita with everything homemade and I'm going to show you how to clip cats nails now we have a very unique business that we board cats actually in our house 24 7 seven days out of the week all year round so, so we see tons of cats and we see lots of cats with long nails and the one of the biggest questions people ask me is how do I clip their nails so I'm going to demonstrate with the help of Nova and Ocean will be helping us out here too but in order to demonstrate this I need to show you on a rabbit first because rabbits have thicker nails and my rabbit Blackberry here is very calm and very patient and will allow me to demonstrate a lot slower than most of the cats that we are boarding right now. And I'm going to show a few cats. Or I'm going to show you how to clip on a few cats. We're going to randomly go around the house. We're going to take some cats and clip their nails. Now all the cats you see here are client cats. Now Blackberry is falling asleep. He's so comfortable there. So let's take a look at Blackberry here. His, his nails are identical to cat nails. The only thing different here is they're thicker than cat nails, but they will show up on the um, screen a lot easier when it comes to demonstration, and that's why I am going to use my rabbit here. Now, I let his nails grow out a little bit longer than they usually do just for you guys to see and it's easier to demonstrate so let's take a look you see the pink here this pink here has all the blood vessels and you don't ever want to cut that what you want to cut is this white part here the end of this pink is called a quick and that quick holds like I said the blood and if you cut too close to that pink you will nick him and he will bleed now exact same thing in a cat claw only a cat claw will curve a little bit more but the exact same thing you can see the pink you don't want to cut so when I grab my nail clippers if you take a look here here are my nail clippers now these are bigger you can get smaller nail clippers, but I honestly like to have something a little bit bigger in my hand. It's just easier to control, and these are good for big dogs, cats, rabbits. I've done ducks. I've done chickens. So what you want to do is, you see the pink? I want to just take a little bit off. And if you can, I don't know if you can actually see this, but you can see the... Um, softness of the nail and a little bit of the of the quick but not quite so I'm gonna go a little bit more there we go and as you go further you can actually see the pink right at the tip there and that tells me nope I'm not gonna cut any more because I'll cut too much and again that's right at the verge of the edge where that pink is uh, at the very top I hope that that makes sense so here again here's the pink at the very top so I'm gonna cut down like that and that looks awesome right there and I'm just gonna put his fur out and if you're ever wondering blackberry is a Rex rabbit again right there and you guys you gotta make sure because claws or nails sorry are always different on every paw so you don't want to go okay well this is a particular length that worked good on this paw because sometimes they wear down their their nails at different lengths like this one look how close that that pink is to the white I don't not gonna have to take very much off this back one okay and that's what's dangerous you guys when you when you go into the pet store and you buy nail clippers with a guard and they say hey this is the length you should be using it's dangerous because you just rely on the guard. What I like is not to rely on the guard. I like to rely on my human eyes and to take every nail differently because they wear down at different lengths. And so I just go with a all-purpose nail clipper and I trust myself and not the guard. I put, And that's really important. And you can see here, Blackberry is so calm and collect. He is just like... 
so good and that's why I'm using him as a demonstration because it's not going to stress if I go slower and I'm fooling around with his paws unlike some cats the faster we get it done the better so again this one this nails a little interesting look it has like a little curve to it so I'm going to take a little bit more off see I took way more off and this is on if you take a look at the foot this claw is on the same side but yet this claw is a lot shorter than this one okay so that's what I mean about about not every hey, hey, hey. it's okay blackberry not every nail is the same okay and so I'm just gonna go ahead here And I normally do this every two weeks for my rabbit because he's an inside spoiled rabbit and he doesn't wear his nails down like wild rabbits do. Okay, Blackberry, I'm going to do your front paws now, okay? Yeah, I'm going to do these front paws. So exactly the same thing. So or his front nails are a little bit skinnier than his back, but the exact same thing. So you see the pink? So his, his front nails are a little bit skinnier, but the same thing, you can see that little hook. And so I'm just going to take these, take this and go, and just nip it off. Well, not really nip it off, but clip it off anyway. Just like so. Now, if you have never done these and you're scared to make your critter bleed, always make sure you got quick stop with you. You can buy that at any pet store and if you would ever make your um, critter bleed you put that on so it coagulates the blood really quickly and s because your believe it or not depends on how much you nick them you can make them bleed to death so pay attention hey 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 relax I just got a little dew claw so you got a little dew claw here blackberry and then you're all done how about that huh yeah I'm just gonna Turn my clippers here. Get that little one. And you're all done, Blackberry. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you ready to run around a little? Yeah, you go. Give her. Good job. Okay, so that's how you clip nails and so let's I'm gonna take I'm gonna give the camera to Nova and we are gonna go and find cheese because cheese is an excellent cat to do nails because he is probably the calmest in the house and let's go find him and let's film now clipping nails on a cat and I'm gonna do it a lot faster just because he may not have as much patience as Blackberry Alright, so with cheese here, now every cat is going to be a little different. So what you want to do with a cat is blackberries claws are already out. Well, cats aren't. And all you do is put pressure under their paw. And you see, they you can, you can um, retract their claws. And you're not hurting them. This is totally natural. This is what they would do if they would be catching prey. They would stick out their claws. This just forces, and all I am doing is put pressure, pressure right here, and their claws come out. So no big deal. This is not hurting the cat at all. So while Ocean has, I'm going to just manipulate my body around her. So it's comfortable for, for, for cheese. And I'm going to, as you can see, the claw here, and I'm going to just clip it. And as, like I said, it's harder to see the pink really fast because cats aren't an average as relaxed as the rabbit is. But if you can see that, the pink is right here. Right there is where the pink is. And um, that I don't want to clip. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead here and clip his nails and you can see I'm literally taking kind of that hook off as you can see on this one here you can see that hook 
and I'm going to, I'm basically taking that hook off and he has quite long nails. So you can see the difference in it when I'm done. So they do claws sometimes tricky to do and I'm angling my clipper so I'm kind of moving my hand. Be careful that you're not taking this and angling it this way and getting the the quick. Okay, you want to make sure you're going onto the claw completely straight, okay? Hey, hey buddy, you're doing so good. You want some temptations after there, cheese? Hey buddy? Yeah, you want some temptations? So again, let's do let's do this nail. Boy cheese. Here, boy buddy. Let's do this one. And lots of people want to clip their cat's nails. One, it helps them not to be so hard on the furniture. Can you move your cheese? There you go. And and if you got small kids, it just helps them so they're not clawing them. And if they're indoor cats, they usually don't um, wear their nails down as much. So their backs are always always not near as long as the front on average. Again, I say that on average because a lot of times that's the case, but sometimes it might not be. So that one's done. Can I get your, your last back one here, buds? So, so again, because I have this one, watch. See its pad right here? If you just put pressure right on here, then on their pads, their claws come out. Okay, and so again, I just work with the cat. If the cat's foot wants to go here, I just keep it there. And I just work with the cat. And I just vacuum my couch after. Oh, you see that flicking of the tail? That means, oh, you better hurry up. And all done! Good job, cheese! We'll get you some temptations here in a moment. So let's do another cat, only I'm going to do it a little faster. So let's see Rada. Rada over here. Let's give a Rada a try. So you want to grab Rada? Hey Rada. And we're going to oh, do her again yeah. on this couch so we're not in the sun. is this is a treat um, let me just take a look on the screen there lots of cats love it and it also relaxes them so if you got a cat that loves treats you can put that by their nose and they can lick it and be more relaxed while you clip their nails you getting that Nova yeah. perfect and that's another way you can do it if you got a cat that loves treats Okay, and Izzy's nails are not that long, so I'm just, I'm just, oh, I call it nipping the ends. I'm literally not taking that much off of her nails because they aren't that long. Check out your front. So her fronts are way longer. So that's what, that's again what I say about, about that guard is you need to look because nails come in all shapes and lengths and it depends on the cat also see see look at her dew claw right here compared I don't want to even clip that because it's not it's not that long while her other claws were so we got one more one more and believe it or not Izzy is actually Cheese's counterpart hey? and again her nails Oh, we're almost done. Almost done. Almost. There we go. And let's check this dew claw. Let's check this dew claw. And this dew claw, look how long that dew claw is. You see it? Do you get it, Nova? Yeah. See how long that dew claw? This dew claw needs to get done. Done. Way to go. Good job. Good job, Izzy. Good job. So that's something to remember is 
is always check. Always check and look because every cat is different and the biggest thing is is when they got that hook you're clipping off the hook part. You're not going anywhere where there is pink or let's say they got a darker claw like Izzy. If it is dark black up to where that hook would be you don't want to clip that either and a lot of people don't like clipping darker nails but as long as you just get that hook part off good if they don't have it that means their nails are short enough so I hope that helped if you got any more questions put it down in the comment section and uh, and I will be happy to answer them otherwise you can get nail clippers at any pet store or pet supplier and they're usually between that five to fifteen dollars now that is Canadian so otherwise you guys enjoy your pets love your cats and we'll see you on the next video cats. So Izzy, good job. Cheese, good job. Rusty, you want a little Temptations too? Here you go. Get some to Rusty. Ah, we got Jasper coming, Ocean. Jasper. Look, there's your treat. <laughs>